Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Nirjana here and in today's video we're going to do a quick makeup look for office wear like daily look so that's what we're going to do all the product links will be in the description box you can check that out so i was talking in the video actually but it's in different language malayalam so i'm going to just mute it and give voiceover so that you will understand uh, all the content okay so yeah let's get started so we are starting with the sunscreen i'm using the deconstruct gel sunscreen with spf 55 it is easily one of the best i've tried so far for humid weather for oily normal skin type as well uh, it's not drying but it is mattifying it doesn't leave any white cast there is no piling up and i really love the sunscreen if you have dry skin you can go for a moisturizer underneath but it is really nice now for primer i am using the naya makeup primer which is because i have oily skin but if you have a normal to dry skin if you want some hydration i would suggest the plume silk bar primer and this is again silicon based but it is creamier it has uh, ingredients like avocado so it's kind of nourishing as well but if you have oily skin then you can go for the naya primer which works amazingly well for my skin type now for base makeup i'm going to use a concealer which is going to be like the main product today i am using the la girl concealer in the shade pure beige but you can also go for brands like maybelline etc so what i'm going to do is use it for my dark circles and you can actually see the difference right you just have to choose the right shade and the difference is like very very visible it instantly lightens up your eye area you can also use it on acne scars like that so you don't have to go full face but if you blend it out well you can use just your fingers or brush it's fine but once you blend it out it looks very natural and it is the you know like the main point of today's makeup now to set it i'm using a compact powder which is by the brand zyne and meza so this one contains spf 30 which is nice they have a few shades i've chosen the shade natural nude and i'm using it to set my concealer as well as for touch up for the entire day i would say the consistency is like powder like but it is not very drying and you can build up uh, also so if you go for the right shade then this can be a good compact which you can use for the entire day and i really like that it comes with spf also and the ingredient list is clean for this brand now for eyebrows i'm using a micro tip pencil currently i'm using the seri brand but i've also used brands like sugar which i really like micro tip is my favorite because it gives a nice definition for the eyebrows it wouldn't look uh, all unnatural you can go for a brownish black kind of shade instead of going all the way black and i really like how natural my eyebrows look like most of these brushes will come with a spoolie on one side so you can brush your eyebrows using that you can use some aloe vera gel or something to set it as well but i really like this particular eyebrow pencil by seri and this is a new brand actually and i do have a few favorites from this brand so my eyebrows are not very full okay there are gaps and also i really like to fill up gaps like this instead of using a brow pomade or an actual thick brow pencil a micro tip pencil actually gives us very natural fuller look and it is very easy to like remove it as well so and i also feel that for daily makeup eyebrows play a very important role so you can actually go for a micro tip pencil and you can use it for touch up also for the entire day so i would really recommend getting this one now for eyes i'm using the lacme iconic eyeliner this is my favorite because it easily lasts for about 13 hours on my eyes it has a slightly glossy finish but i really like the finish of this one it has a long wand so it is very convenient to apply as well uh, so this is definitely my favorite eyeliner i prefer to use eyeliner on days when i have to use it like when i have to have makeup for so long because i find uh, coal and kajal and all to smudge after a while especially when i'm using on my upper lid so eyeliner always works best for me and this particular one is actually very easy to remove also you can actually peel it off and remove so it won't stain your eyes very easy to remove but as long as it has uh, like as long as it's on, there on your eyes it looks very natural and it instantly brightens up your eye area so i really like liquid eyeliners that way and faces uh, mama earth and lakme eyeliners are my favorite now for under eye area i like a coal i am using the just herbs coal at the moment but i have also used sugar coal of honor and plum i like all of those i prefer coal on my lower lid because i think it gives a more natural look so these are actually smudge proof and i have sensitivized and they have not caused any issue so far and yeah they are waterproof as well i do not want those raccoon eye feeling like you know already i have dark circles so i do not want to accentuate it so i always go for smudge proof coal and just herbs is really a good one at that i would definitely recommend this just be a little careful when you apply so that it won't smudge right away so that later on the chance of smudging is very very less also there is always this gap that happens you know at the tip so i always like to fill in that tip of my eyeliner like the tail by using a liquid liner it is just my preference you don't have to do it really but i like it when i do this because it gives my eyes a more defined shape 
so then for mascara it's not necessary on a daily wear makeup look but i really like mascara because my lashes are pretty much non-existent i'm using the mascara by lacme i would go for a waterproof eyeliner only really mostly because i mean uh, mascara because i would want to uh, be able to you know remove it easily at the end of the day because i don't want to really stress out my lashes so mascara by lacme works really amazingly well now for cheeks this is something that i use by this brand called iba it is a lip and cheek tint normally you do not really have to work on your cheeks on a daily wear makeup look but i'll just show you how different it looks you know once you apply it so this is the shade all time pink it's a beautiful shade just clean up your fingers and apply a little bit on both of your cheeks it will look very like you know very dark colored when you apply but just blend it out just give it one minute blend it out and you will see your cheeks will look so naturally flushed and i love this look it is not very creamy or not very drying so you can actually use it on your face it won't add any excess glow, uh, you know greasy look or anything but this natural look is very nice this is something that you can easily pull off for a daily wear makeup look i personally love this and i would definitely recommend the iba tint it is actually very good now always make sure that you clean your fingers in between especially you are applying the lip and cheek tint you are applying the concealer with your fingers so always make sure that you uh, clean your fingers with micellar water and cotton pads always have them handy so that you can clean up in between now i am also going to use this strop cream by ilana the shade is golden r strop cream is again not something you would use on a daily basis but if you want a little bit of glow on the cheeks say you have a zoom meeting or something that then you can use this it is actually something that you can mix with your uh, foundation and apply on your entire face or in general apply on your entire face for that look but i would basically apply it on my cheeks to have that highlighted feel for the cheeks which i really like I really enjoy that look. This is my staple actually. Daily wear makeup or party wear whatever that is. I love using the Lana Strop Cream and this brand also has very clean ingredients. So this is a brand that I would actually ask you to check out for makeup. So I would definitely recommend this one. They also have a pinkish rosy kind of shade, but I feel Golden Hour is like a very flattering shade for all skin tones. And see, it's a very natural look but very pretty, right? I love this one. Now for lips I'm using the Sugar Matte lip crayon in the shade voila voila is a little light for me if you want to go for darker shades you can definitely do but the voila is kind of my shade easy to apply and reapply as well and it's a very natural looking nude shade so that is pretty much my entire uh, you know easy office going look so i will put all the product links in the description you can check that out do let me know if you like these kind of looks and i think the look turned out really well i mean it looks very natural yet there is some makeup on so you will feel confident but people won't call you out for making makeup then that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys think about it i know the lipstick shade that i used was not exactly this one because it's a daily wear look but this is a beautiful shade so i'm gonna put the link of this one as well in the description you can check that so we will meet again until then take care Bye